They say there is nothing more boring than watching paint dry, but the Edison Vault is far from boring. In fact, it has an electrifying history. Hello Chicago, join me as we explore some of the most fascinating behind the scenes spaces of the Lyric Opera House. Samuel Insull, the man responsible for the building of this great opera house, was the protégé of uh, Thomas Edison and the head of Chicago's largest utility company, Commonwealth Edison, or Comet. When the Lyric Opera House opened in 1929, this 9,000 square foot basement space was a power substation. Over here, you will see what used to be a transformer vault, which, since the station closed, has been used to store opera sets. In the early days of opera, sets were made up of painted drops and uh, flats. These walls made of fabric or wood were inexpensive to make, easy to transport, and didn't take up much storage space. Over the decades, scenic design has moved towards three-dimensional, realistic set pieces. However, for certain settings, there is nothing better than a cyclorama, a large, sometimes curved curtain or wall that can instantly transport characters to a moonlit highland moor or tropical paradise. When existing productions come to Lyric, anywhere from two to six painters touch up high traffic areas and fix anything that may have been damaged during transportation or construction. But it's not only set pieces that require an artist's touch. In theater, a charge artist is in charge of all the final touches on sets costumes and the props. They make sure everything is consistent and accurate to the time frame, location and designer's vision. Whether that's a weathering soldier's boots, making them look used and dirty or muddy if it's raining, or perfectly fitting a new section into an existing stone wall, we do everything we can to make the world you see on stage as believable as possible. So, the next time the curtain rises and you are swept away to a gloomy castle or a Tuscan hillside, pay attention to the details. Thank you for joining me today. I look forward to our next adventure. Until then, ciao!